2018 Chevy Traverse, when General Motors killed its mini vans and launched range of three-year-old crossovers on a then new Lambda platform about a decade ago. It seemed a risky move, but it paid off. Fast forward to now, and Americans have bought more than 2 million of those Chevrolet, GMC, and Buick, and, yes, Saturn, people haulers. Now GM second-generation three-row transporters are here, and they've got a much tougher playing field of family SUVs to go up against. The first of these renewed efforts was the GMC Acadia which shrank considerably compared with its predecessor. In a recent comparison test, it placed mid-pack behind the Mazda CX-9 and the Volkswagen Atlas. So maybe it's a good thing that the Acadia's corporate cousin, the new 2018 Chevrolet Traverse, is taking a different approach. Bigger is better for starters, it has done the opposite of shrink with a wheelbase that's a full 2 inches longer than that of the old Traverse and incremental optics and length, width, and height. The Travis is a size XL to the Acadia XL. It's the biggest crossover in a big class, and its size pays dividends inside. Even with the third row seat raised, there's a generous 23 cubic feet of cargo space in back, enough to accommodate six carry-on suitcases in our testing, two more than the similarly gargantuan Atlas. We can't quite proclaim the Travis's third row to be as accommodating as the Volkswagen's. Though, because Chevrolet has insisted on wedging a third seating position in there, stuffing the Chevy full of seven passengers forces one unlucky occupant to inhabit the uncomfortable third row middle seat, whereas the Volkswagen's three seat second row and two seat third row apportioned the available space better for those who place carpooling for sports teams at the top of their priority lists. The Travis's ace up its sleeve is the available eight-seat configuration that swaps other test cars' second-row captain's chairs for a three-seat bench. Unfortunately, it's available only on lower trim levels with cloth seats and less equipment.